Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to Miss Anis. My name is Nurliana Atira binti Izani from group RAS 1205G. Together with my teammates uh, Siti Hajar Zahira, Muhammad Akmal, Nino Atikah and Muhammad Alif. And today we will talk about determination of vanilin and ethyl vanillin in milk powder by heat space solid phase micro extraction SPME coupled with gas chromatography mass spectrometry GCMS. Vanillins are important flavoring additive in food industry. Same goes to vanilla extract. Vanillin and ethyl vanillin are parts of vanillins that widely used as food flavor due to their vanilla aroma and strong milky flavor. Food Additive Regulation of China claims that the maximum usage of vanillin, ethyl vanillin and vanilla extract in formula food for infants over 6 months old and children are 5 mg over 100 ml of volume ready to use instant food and the defined amount according to the processing need. But then, uh, so far, there is no national standard method for vanillin determination. In July 2012, a nationally forbidden amount of vanillin was detected in several orange brine phase milk powder. Therefore, it is obvious that a quick and effective analysis method is needed for determining the vanillin content in food. Gas chromatography is a technique that separates components in a mixture by the difference in partitioning behavior between mobile and stationary phases. And this is the schematic diagram of gas chromatography and its labelled components. In sample ejection, the sample solution ejected into the instruments enters a gas ring, which transports the sample into a separation tube known as the column. In column, compounds in the mobile phase interact with the stationary phase as they pass through. Due to the differences in properties and structures of each component, the size and affinity of each interaction with the stationary phase are different. Then, the retention time of different uh, components differ in the column, thus moving out from the column in different orders. Then, the detector functioning to measure the quantity of the components that exit the column and convert the amount of each component into an electrical signal. Then, uh, sends these signals to a data processing unit and the data obtained determine the compounds contained in the sample and in what amounts. Solid phase micro extraction SPME is a popular relatively new sample preparation since its development in 1990. And based on Sostaric, a previous publication has reported a heat space uh, SPME coupled with gas chromatography and mass spectrometry method for the identification of volatile components in vanilla extracts and flavorings. To relate, this video will expose and explain the study that optimized SPME extraction condition to detect coloring, vanilling and active vanilling in vanilla product samples such as milk powder with the goal of determining the type of vanilla product in food by purely qualitative method. Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm Siti Hajar Zahirah binti Azhari. I will present uh, the next one which is about methodology. Vanillins in sample were extracted with SPME through a few silica fiber that coated with divinyl benzene or polydimethyl siloxane. The table show the preparations in this experiment that involve five preparations, which is preparation of sodium chloride, sample preparation, and also three standard preparation. The first one is preparation of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride was packed under 400 degrees Celsius for 2 hours, then cooled to ambient temperature in a desiccator. Next is sample preparation. Make a powder about 0.001 gram and 2 gram of sodium chloride were mixed with 5 ml dionized water in a 20 ml headspace bottle and then the solution was mixed by a MS3 basic turbine mixer for 3 minutes. To prepare the vanillin and ethyl vanillin standard stock solution, which is 500mg per liter, about 0.050g of the standard substance was dissolved in acetonic trill to make a final 100ml solution. Next, to prepare the vanillin and ethyl vanillin intermediate solution, which is 50mg per liter, about 10ml standard stock solution was diluted with acetonitril to make 100ml. 
Lastly, to prepare a series of matrix mixture standard working solutions, the standard intermediate mixture solution were progressively diluted with a blank meal powder matrix. The solutions should be prepared freshly the day of the analysis. Standard curve were plotted with peak area versus analyte concentration after measurement under instruments working. Next is the operating conditions for the sample analysis using gas chromatography that involve type of column, carrier gas, injection mode, injection volume, column temperature and also detector. First is about GC system. GC system that used in this experiment is mass spectroscopy. Next, inlet is in splitless mode and the injection port temperature was held at 260 degrees Celsius. For separation, a capillary column of 30 meter 5% phenyl methyl polyxyloxane with an inner diameter of 0.25 millimeter and a 0.250 micrometer film thickness was used. Next is ultra pure helium which is 99.999% passed through a gas clean GCMS filter and was used as the carrier gas at a flow rate of 1.0 ml per minute. For the oven temperature, the initial temperature was set at 80 degrees Celsius with an initial 2 minute holding and then followed by a program temperature ramp of 15 degrees Celsius per minute to 280 degrees Celsius and was held at 280 degrees Celsius for 2 minutes. The interface uh, temperature was set at 275 degrees Celsius. The injection volume was set at 1 microliter with a non-splitting mode. And last but not least, the detector was used is mass spectrometer. Okay, so I'm going to go to the laboratory. I'm going to apply. Okay, today I will continue to say for the, the study on PASA. As you can see in this slide, it shows the graph of MS, SIM, chromatic plane, and the mass spectra of Fendlin. For the first graph, it is MS, SIM, chromatogram of vanillin and the uh, anti vanillin that has been detected in a sample of milk powder. Okay, for the second graph, it is a uh, mass spectra of vanillin. From the graph, it shows that the big one, which is uh, vanillin, has the shorter retention time. Okay, the retention time of the vanillin is only 9.647 minutes. The mass ion charge ratio is on maximum during that time. The mass ion charge ratio is 155. In this value, the, it is significant to determine the structure of the compound. Okay, for the second graph, uh, for the second slide, is the graph of for mass spectra of ethyl vanillin. The mass ion charge ratio is only 1 to 7 and the retention time of this ethyl vanillin is 9.973 minutes. Assalamualaikum Miss. Uh, my name is Nina Atika Binti Nikman. So, I am going to present about discussion. Okay, so first of all is a selection of extraction fiber type. Uh, Nonpolar fiber coating it had a higher extraction efficiency for the nonpolar volatile compound. So why uh, polar fiber coating it had a higher extraction efficiency for the polar compound compound? This all according to the law of similar mutual solubility. And this study was conducted under the temperature of 70 uh, Celsius oscillator rotation rate at 500 RPM, the incubation time for 10 minutes, HSSPM E time for 20 minutes. Uh, the attraction effect of 7 different types of uh, attraction fiber on a metric standard mixture solution under this condition uh, was tested. And also the amount of extracted vanillin chromatographic peak resolution and peak shape uh, can be used to compare the extraction 
capacity of the seven different type of extraction fiber. Next is when all the parameters will help constant. First, the peak area change of vanilla at incubation time is at, at 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 minutes. Second is the peak change of the analytes at uh, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90 Celsius. Uh, third also uh, the peak area analytes under rotation rate of uh, 250, 400, 500, 600 and 700 RPM. And lastly the change of peak area of the analyte analytes under different desorption temperature at 230, 240, 250, 260 and 270 Celsius were studied in this, uh, in this uh, discussion. So last for uh, discussion is precision and recovery. Uh, standard vanillin of uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 1 mg per kilogram was spiked into 6, pow 6 milk powder sample with weight uh, 1 gram of each uh, that is free of vanillin. So this spike sample were analyzed and quantified level of vanillin in a spiked milk powder were used to calculate the recovery percentage uh, with the value arranged from 90 to 99%. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Anaika bin Malam Today I want to talk about the conclusion. Okay, for the conclusion of uh, this uh, experiment, is the, the study show that the spike recovery of vanillin is about uh, 90 to 99 percent. Uh, the related standard diversion RSD for vanillin is ranged from 2.3 to 4.1 percent. Uh, the limit of detection at OD of vanillin is uh, 0 0.1 mg per kilogram, is a very good. Unity with celebration coefficient of 0.9992. This method is suitable for the determination of vanillin in milk powder. That's all from me. Thank you. And these are the references list which includes the journals that has been used as our study research and citations. That's all from us. Thank you.